What's going on YouTube and welcome back inside Stu's Garage. Um, so today, um, we're gonna be taking a look at these two K members. We're gonna strip these things down. Uh, we're gonna weigh them. Uh, we're gonna talk about some of the differences between the stock K member, uh, some aftermarket K members that you might be familiar with. And we're gonna talk about the actual K member that I'm putting into this car. So if you clicked on this video to know about K members, uh, just sit tight for just a second because um, I want to take a second just to talk to the folks that subscribe to this channel and I've uh, been following the build. So as far as that goes, um, the uh, the channel's been getting a lot of negativity lately um, since I announced the LS swap, which um, not particularly concerned about. Um, honestly, I'm not here for any kind of popularity contest. I'm not begging you guys to like my car. I'm not even begging you guys to uh, like this channel, um, like I've said before. Um, I make no money off of this channel. I'm not doing this as a popularity contest. I'm not fueled by haters or any craziness like that. What I get out of this channel is sharing what I learned. Um, you guys can learn from my mistakes. Um, and I get to meet some really cool people. I get to have some interactions with some of you guys. Um, honestly, I would never have gotten in contact with some of the folks that have helped me on this build uh, without this YouTube channel. So. Uh, that's my mission behind this channel is really to do car stuff to meet cool car people and do more cool car stuff to be honest I do this because I want to inspire you guys who watch this to get out there and uh, start taking apart your own stuff to make your own builds happen and to not sit there and think that you have to take your car to a shop just to build the car that you want to build I'm building the car that I want to build you build the car that you want to build and I'm setting this car up exactly how I want it. Um, this channel right here is not a Mustang channel. It's not about Mustangs. It's not about drifting. Uh, like I said, this, this channel right here is primarily to inspire you to get out there and build your own car. Um, what actually inspired me to put this channel up is a guy um, who of all things, he's got a pink 240SX. Um, I don't like pink cars. Um, I'm not a huge fan of 240s. I don't like four bangers. You know, he's got a set of wheels that cost more than his whole car. You'll never catch me with the name brand set of wheels. What I do like about that channel is he started out from a place just like me. Uh, he didn't know a whole lot about what he was doing. He got in there, you know, he got knees deep, he got waist deep, he got elbows deep, you know, and he basically ended up building the car of his dreams. Um, and basically where I'm coming from is when I purchased this Mustang here, um, I can remember the night I drove it home, the starter was loose. Um, by the time I had the car for a week, it wouldn't even start because the starter bolts were, were loose. And I had to call my buddy to come over and help me out because I didn't even know how to tighten up the starter on this car. So that's where I'm coming from, folks. And you know, within two years time, you know, I'm cutting on this thing, I'm repairing rust, I'm doing body work, you know. This is a learning process for me. I'm sharing what I'm learning with you guys and so that's what this channel is about and also there's a lot of folks that are critical of uh, the stuff that I'm doing here um, like I said it's a learning process for me I'm learning how to do all of this stuff but you know um, what you may be surprised at is uh, you know even when you take your car to the shop and have these so-called professionals uh, you know build your car for you they're doing the same crap that I'm doing the same haggard stuff that I'm doing they're doing it and you're paying them to do it so you know, if you're gonna have Jerry Ray stuff on your car, you might as well do it yourself. At least that way, you know uh, the degree the degree to which it's been Jerry Ray. But um, just being honest with you folks, last time I took my car to a shop, it was a shop with a good reputation, a very good reputation, and they did some jacked up stuff to my car. So, like I said, if anybody's gonna be messing up my car, it's gonna be this guy right here. So, I guess what I kinda wanna ask you guys is, um, A lot of you guys kind of seem upset at the fact that I'm doing all this stuff to this car. Uh, my question for you is, is why are you surfing YouTube for a channel with a car that's obviously modified when you seem to like stock Mustangs? Um, you know, I don't go on Honda Civic pages and, you know, tell them how slow their car is and how stupid I think Honda Civics are because I'm just not interested. I don't go on that kind of stuff. So I don't know. It just seems kind of weird to me that you know, so many folks are clicking on my channel where I'm doing all these modifications where you seem to prefer an original untouched car. There's 
This car is, is far from original and it hasn't been original since the first video I posted of it um, on this channel. But um, like I said, you know, the stuff doesn't really bother me. I just kind of want to get some insight as to, um, you know, what you guys are thinking. Um, a prime example of that is I actually had a guy who watched my whole IRS install video just to say that he would have kept the solid rear axle in his car. I'm like, you know, that's cool, but why are you watching an IRS install? I don't know. Um, if you like drag cars, you know, take the stuff that I'm showing you and build yourself a drag car. That's just how it is. So like I said, you know, it's not that the negative comments bother me or anything. It just makes me a little bit curious as to um, what you guys are thinking about when you're watching these videos. Um, I would like to say that a stock Fox body is honestly a garbage car. Um, it's a great blank canvas, but if you've ever driven a bone stock Fox body, there's so much to be desired. I don't know how you would just take one and leave it original and be happy with it because honestly, uh, you'd be better off buying yourself a Honda Accord. They're more comfortable, uh, they're more reliable, you know, they're nicer, they're more responsive. Uh, I don't know. It, a stock Fox body is fun, but it's, 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 it's not, there's nothing good about it. So, um, like I said, you know, I, I don't see the, the, the appeal of, of an original car, but um, enough of that. I've got, uh, I've got my rust sniffing hedgehog here, and uh, you know, we're gonna go back and look at some of the rust on the, uh, on the Fox body. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get to these K members, and we're gonna show you some new stuff today. So, stay tuned. All right, so since we're talking about K-Members in today's video, um, I want to go ahead and introduce what I have here. Uh, right here, we've got the Maximum Motorsports K-Member, and of course over here, we've got the whole, or part of the front suspension on the OEM K-Member. Um, another thing I want to address is the weight savings claims. So some people claim that you can save like 150 pounds, you know, or more on a K-Member swap, and some people say that you can get like 30 pounds off of a K-member swap because there's not because the uh, the stock K-member itself isn't actually that heavy. In order to get this thing stripped down, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take the steering rack off. Um, that's gonna come off separate. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna unbolt the control arms. We're gonna leave those knuckles on there because it's not worth the time and energy to to, to pry those apart and really. There's no reason to because we can bolt those right back to the new K member um, as they sit. Alright folks, we've got the stock K-member stripped, um, so two surprises on this one. So first off, uh, even though it was only a couple of bolts and I've taken these things apart a dozen times before, I um, it was actually way more simple to take this thing apart than what I thought. I just was expecting a fight because everything else so far has been a fight with this car as far as the motor swap goes. But anyways, uh, second surprise is now that the heavy rotors and knuckles and arms, the solid pieces of metal are off, this thing actually doesn't feel all that heavy. So um, without any further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and bust out the scale and we're going to compare these things head to head. Alright, so we've got our trusty scale out. I'm going to use this plank of wood just to keep from damaging this glass scale. And we're going to go ahead, um, this plank of wood weighs two pounds. Uh, it's not enough to register the scale by itself. It is going to pick up two pounds once we do add some weight to it. So, uh, first off, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw the stock K-member on the scale. Alright, and the stock K-member stripped down weighs in at 45 pounds. And that's subtracting the two pounds for the plank of wood. 
All right, up next, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna throw the Maximum Motorsports on, and I'm gonna put it on with this little cross brace because that's part of the K-member and it comes with it. Um, this is also considered strict condition. And this one weighs in at a total of 40 pounds. So guess what folks, you've seen it here. Um, it looks like we've only got a five pound difference between the two K members. So does that mean that the 150 pound claims uh, for weight savings and everything is, um, you know, an over exaggeration? Um, I would say no. There's probably a few factors that play into that. So first of all, uh, a lot of the K-member kits come as just that. They come as a whole kit. Not only do you have the tubular K-member, but you end up with a set of tubular control arms. Uh, you delete the original front suspension, which has huge heavy springs on it, and you end up changing out a lot of stuff. And so the whole total package, probably still not gonna save you 150 pounds, but it is gonna save you more weight than just the five pound difference. Also, the Maximum Motorsports K-member is a road race style K-member. So some of the people mentioned that in this type of a car, you wouldn't necessarily want the tubular K-member, but the Maximum Motorsports, and I think there's one other brand, which I don't remember the name, these are actually good for road race cars. Um, between the two K-members, uh, from what I've read, there's actually nothing stronger than the stock K-member. However, the Maximum Motorsports tubular comes pretty close. Um, the benefits from this one is it actually allows you to work on your car better, you have better clearance, and obviously you're going to need it for various motor swap applications. So um, that's pretty much it for this quick little video. Thank you guys for watching this one. And in the next video, we're going to be putting this K-member together. We're going to put the steering rack back on. We're going to put the bushings, the solid aluminum bushings on this one, which I'm very excited about. And I'll talk about that a little bit um, in the next video and possibly bolt this thing back up in the car. So thanks for watching, folks. Catch you guys next time.